I'm going to start off with PowerPoint backgrounds. The backgrounds are located under the Design tab. Go ahead and click Design, and the first thing you'll see is a bunch of themes. These are preset backgrounds and formatting options. If you put your mouse over one of the themes, you'll see what the title slide will look like. To see the entire presentation, go ahead and click on one of the themes and you'll see what that looks like throughout your presentation. There's an arrow over here that will show you all of the themes. Take a minute to explore some of the themes. In order to work with different backgrounds, we need to undo the theme. Click the arrow that shows you all of the themes. The top left theme under your current theme is the blank white theme select this theme. That will undo the previous theme selection. We're going to be using background styles for the next five slides. Select background styles and the first thing you'll see are these gradient shades. These are a lot like themes. Since they're very similar to a theme, I'm not going to cover those. They're pretty self-explanatory. Click Format Background underneath all of these gradients. The first option you'll see is Solid Fill. If you choose one color and Solid Fill, you'll get a single color background. The next option down under Background is Gradient Fill. Go ahead and click Gradient Fill. When you select Gradient Fill, you're going to look below and you're going to see the different colors available to you for this current background. The computer automatically selected three colors for me. I can click any of these arrows and change the color. To do that you're going to click on the arrow, click the fill box, and choose a color. I'm going to choose gold for the far left option. I'm going to click the far right arrow, choose a dark blue, and now I have blue and gold with some white in the middle. I can move these arrows closer to the center to get less and less white if I want to do that, or move those back out to the ends to get more white. If I want to completely get rid of white, I can select that center arrow and press the delete key, not backspace, delete. That will completely get rid of my white, and now you can see there's far more yellow then blue so I'm gonna take the blue slider and move it over to the left a little bit and that's getting a little more even and I getting kinda of green so I'm gonna bring the yellow and start bringing the blue and kinda of phasing out that green color we're getting in the center there the closer these get the less and less green we'll have in the middle 